guys, it's Shroomy and welcome back to another video. So today we are doing Shroomy Architect. Yeah, it is back and better than ever. Um, as you may or may not have noticed, we are without machinima <laughs> today. Um, because this is how things are going to be around here for, for, the, for the foreseeable future. So last week I did a survey, which you are still welcome to take. It is in the bio of my Instagram. I'll be checking it, but just not like really often, but you can still have your say. Um, but in that, one of the questions that I asked was, would you still watch Rumi Architect if it didn't have the machinima? And the reason that I asked this is because I really hated doing the machinima part. Like, if I'm just going to cut to the chase, I really hated doing it. And it just wasn't fun and it's one of the reasons why I didn't make Shroomy Architect that often is because I because I couldn't bring myself to do the do the um, machinima part of it and if you ask anyone who's made machinimas in the past like who do them normally I guess like where you do a storyline it's really hard to make a machinima and they're really time consuming and stuff and for something which is effectively a speed build but a more personal version because obviously it's got your builds in it but um yeah, it just made life really hard to do it and it meant I couldn't get Shroomy Architect out when I wanted it and just generally it just made life hard for me. So today we are here without machinima. <laughs> I should really stop saying that, it's really bad. But we are without machinima today and we are doing this household that I found off the gallery. If you are new since the last episode of Shroomy Architect, um, it's my series where I build your sims houses. So if you want to find out more, Go to the introductory video intro introductory video um, that I think I've pinned it to the top of my YouTube page. You can find it in the Shroomy Architect playlist. Hey, wink wink. But um, that's where the Shroomy Architect playlist is. It's just in the playlist bit of my channel. Go and watch that, I recommend, and then this series will make a lot more sense. But um, to cut a long story short, I went on the hashtag Shroomy Architect on the gallery and I found this for <laughs> I found this household and it was really cute. I apologise that the mum is bald at the beginning. <laughs> like not at the beginning, at like the front of the house. It's because I don't have her hair. Um but this, these people, the person who made this, uh didn't say what packs they had, so I think I've kind of made it base game a little bit. I think it's mainly base game. There's the odd bit some pieces that aren't like the brick on the outside of the house isn't but it's not that big of a deal you can swap it out for another one it's just because I've, I've been liking that brick recently so what can I say <laughs> yay um but as I do in these things I would normally do it in the machinima but because that is mort if you have <laughs> french skills I don't take french anymore thank I was about to say thank the lord I don't want to use Yep. Oh my god, skip. <laughs> I just don't want to offend any religious people out there. Cool. Great. Um, so the child, if you can see, it's just a mum and her daughter, and they, the kid really like bright colours. I absolutely love the kid's bedroom. We will get to it in a bit. This speed build isn't the longest, so I just cracked this out this morning. I got really into it. Um, but yeah, this speed build isn't the longest, but you will see the bedroom, and it is really cute. I used that really ugly wallpaper that came in the toddler patch. It looks fabulous. I think I actually made it look cute, so... Hey. <laughs> uh, they had a budget of 70,000 simoleons. I spent quite a lot on the outside. Well, not actually that much. But I wanted to make it kind of... Not a starter house, because obviously 70,000 is more than that. But I wanted to kind of furnish it with the basics. Because I was like, I don't know what packs this person got. I kind of furnished it not really detailed. Because I didn't... Because one of the things they asked for was a large garden. So I wanted to put like a pool and stuff in there. So I didn't want to have like... 10 simoleons when I came to the outside of the house, which is what normally happens. Um, so I tried to spend a little bit less than I usually would on the inside, but I still think it looks cute. Also, I just fixed the lights so they're not as ugly. Pro tip. <laughs> um, because those lights are really cheap and they're really good, but they're always so yellow. So I was like, oh yeah, I can just um, make them turn their colour. And now they look 10 times better <laughs> and I didn't have to spend loads on those lights. So that's good. Um, they also wanted an office, I think, because the mum was like really hard working or something. I don't know. I don't normally talk about the build, but I'm really proud of this house. I think I will play in it. It is up on the gallery under Shroomy, hashtag Shroomy Sims, I think. But you can find it under Shroomy Architect. That's where all my other Shroomy Architect builds are. Just FYI. Um, and if you do want to make one, the, not rules, but like the 
criteria. I don't know. The the criteria for the challenge um, are in that introductory video. So if you are new or if you want to submit something, go ahead. Because um, I enjoyed this so much, I think I will be doing more of them. But yeah. Um, so, this is going up on Thursday, I believe. So I hope you enjoyed my Halloween video that I did. Um, which means there wasn't any Pike Legacy out this week, but... Hey ho, it's all right. Um, but that was really fun to build. I did the Halloween build challenge. If you haven't, if you haven't seen it, please go and watch. I would ten out of ten recommend, but I would because it's my build. <laughs> um, but yeah. So this is going up. Hang on, let's. Should I? Can I check when this is going up? This is going up on the second of November. Cool. Really? Um, yeah, this is going up on the second of November, which means it's nearly the fifth of November. A hey. If you are not from the UK, you will not know the significance of the 5th of November, unless they teach you about it. Highly doubt it, actually. Hang on, would they? I don't think they would. I don't think they would teach you other countries about the 5th of November. I didn't really learn about it. It kind of... Maybe I did, actually. Maybe I did in, maybe I did in primary school. Maybe I did learn about the 5th of November. I don't know. Yeah, but anyway, I thought I can just, because this isn't the longest build, but my stories are never the longest, so hey-ho. Um, yeah, so I thought I would talk about the 5th of November. It's like a more lit version of uh, the 4th of July, <laughs> which is weird, because I've heard of that, but you probably haven't heard of the 5th of November. It's not a more lit version of the 4th of July. Um, the backstory basically is there was, I can't remember when it was, it was ages ago, some point in British history, um, there was a guy who didn't like the government, so him and his mates, yo, <laughs> oh my god, my throat, um, him and his mates went into the Houses of the Parliament, which are, if you've ever, you know, seen English stuff, you know Big Ben? That's attached to the Houses of the Parliament. Fun fact, oh my god, imagine if I got that wrong. That would be really awkward, I feel like I might have done. <sighs> um, but no, basically they went into the House of the Parliament and they tried to blow up the king. Cool, by they had like gunpowder, that's why it's called the Gunpowder Plot. Fun. <laughs> um, but I don't exactly know why we celebrate that. Oh, I think it's because, basically, we call it the 5th of November, it's also known as Bonfire Night. Because we have a lot of bonfires. Not like in The Sims, they're a lot bigger than that. Um, but we have bonfires and fireworks and stuff. Um, I think the bonfire may be to do with, in the history, we used to like burn people on fire, on fires, like if they were irritating people. We used to do that, I don't know why. Um, but I think it might be to do with that. And then I think the fireworks are meant to be like the... Uh, gunpowder going off, I think, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> um, but that's basically what that is. So that's going to be lit. <laughs> um, no, it's not. I, I don't think I've got any plans for it. I might go and see some fireworks or just stay in and comfort my dog. <laughs> but oh well. Um, oh, jeez, <clears throat> oh, my throat today. It's just like... Uh, yeah, so there you go. Fun bit of British history. <laughs> uh, such exciting history happens in our country, obviously. <laughs> uh, but... Nevertheless, I might stream this Saturday. I'm recording this on Sunday, so this is going up on Thursday. This is Sunday when I'm recording this, which means the clocks went back. Yay! Is that a worldwide thing? The clocks going back and like going forward? I don't know. Oh my god. I always just get myself in the world's biggest pickle as to whether these things are kind of international. Because part of me thinks it is, but part of me thinks it isn't. <laughs> Um, so I'm really skewed because I don't know if the clocks have gone back and then I'm like going around my house and I'm like, is this the right time? Is this the right time? I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> um, but I hope you really have enjoyed this and if you would like me to make your own Shroomy Architect thing, first step, if you're new or you've never seen this before, go and watch my introductory video. And if you're not new, go and make a household. <laughs> but remember to include the stuff because it makes my life a lot easier and I'm more likely to choose it. So. Yay, there you go. <laughs> We're all fun in games here until Shroomy starts talking about rules. Uh, yeah, but if you want to submit a household for this, I would greatly appreciate it because it's more fun when I have more to choose from.
there you go it's just a thing um i hope you do like this house as i mentioned before it is up on the gallery if you would like to download it i'm sorry for my trash voiceovers but what can i say <laughs> so hope you've enjoyed the video please like comment and subscribe to be part of the streamy family and i will see you all in my next video bye